Ron Paul 2012? Well, I think uh, in 2012, people will take him a lot more seriously. I think a lot of the things that he forecast have already happened. And so it's clear that you know he was right about a lot of things and a lot of people were wrong. I think that he's got a lot more support going into 2012. He's not you know obscure. Remember in 2008, when that campaign started, nobody knew who he was. <laughs> he's got a pretty good base right now. I don't think the news is going to ignore him. Remember last time around, I mean, he couldn't even you know, get Fox News to cover him. Now Fox uh, you know covers him a lot. So I think he's got a much better chance in, in 2012. And of course, he's running. He's See so many. It's very encouraging. I'm delighted to see so many young people. This revolution is made up with young ideas. And young ideas. You know, a few years ago, I didn't quite understand what was going on. I was still learning a little bit about the uh, internet and a few other things. <laughs> It looks like now the uh, message of liberty spreads very well today, and this to me is wonderful. The groundwork has been laid for a good many years. It hasn't been two or three or four years. It's been five, ten, and twenty years that the various people have been very much involved in spreading this message. But it's coming together for a certain reason, for, for a particular reason. One is the message has been laid out there by intellectuals, and that's very, very important. But the other thing that is happening that makes our view so appropriate is now we have proof of the views that have been running this country for about 50 years. They failed, and they need something new. <laughs> But, I mean, we've got, I mean, what do you think is going to happen when prices really start to run out of control for gasoline, for food? I mean, look at... President 2012! Yeah, I said that already. Congressional Republicans are pushing to strip the Federal Reserve of its authority to address unemployment. Obviously, this is coming at a critical time. The lawmakers want the central bank to stop worrying about the jobless crisis and focus just on ensuring stable prices. Congressman Ron Paul joins me now. It's good to see you. Thanks very much. Why? Why is this an idea that is out there? Well, every once in a while, I will be asked by somebody rather naive uh, on television, and they'll say, why don't you like the Fed? And why don't you like the Fed? It's like, they're the counterfeiters. Why should counterfeiting be legal? <laughs> but it is, it is an important issue, and once in a while, the interviewers will get tired of hearing me talk about monetary policy. But just think how many problems we take care of if the liberals who like to spend money and the conservatives who like to spend money couldn't spend money if the Fed wasn't there to buy up all the yeah. debt. Yeah. inflationary system is that early on it doesn't seem to hurt and some people seem to benefit until the bubbles get too big and they burst and then people suffer and people lose their houses and, and their and their jobs. And then when they try to bail out, do they bail out the poor people who've lost their jobs? No. 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 And then, then what happens? The consequence finally comes, and that is what we're seeing now, and that is what is going to be a big issue from now on. And that is the cost of printing money means the value of the dollar goes down, which means the prices are going up and the people are going to get angry, and we better have the right answers for them. defending liberty. We too often lose this battle because people who defend freedom sometimes come across as lacking of compassion. But I tell you, if a person understands what true liberty is about, what true markets are about, it's the only compassionate society available. It's the only society that can well. In many countries throughout history, there's too often somebody arrives that wants to be a Napoleon, a man on a white horse, and say, I'll take care of people. So what we want is a society where we are free and we demand that we take care of ourselves and the government leave us alone.
love your clothes you wear Love your clothes you wear I love your broken crown The one you stole from the king and held for ransom Love your broken crown Love your broken crown Love it Love the velvet hat Love the velvet hat